Morning thoughts, morning thoughts. It's a driving vlog this morning. Almost there at work, but the place foggy. Watch your people. This is what it look like. Anyhow, somebody sent me a voice note, right? And I'm sure other people have that voice note now as well. I pull up to work right now. I'm sure other people have that voice note now as well. And it's a voice note of a lady, female, saying how the bad man, them are the gangster, them, the killer, them, they ex they're escaping out of uh, St. James, out of Mobile, transported in caskets. So they might work with the funeral homes. I think that's quite fine. I think that's kind of interesting since we've been talking for a while about, remember we said something about the funeral home, them playing a part because without funeral, without bodies, funeral homes can't make no money. You know what I'm saying? And if I go into business as a funeral home owner, I'm gonna try to make sure that my business run. You dig? You walking with me? Then we were talking about um, government officials being private investors in funeral homes. Even more incentives to make murder rate rise. Cause we need dead bodies in a funeral home. Cause business need to be um, made, right? Okay. Then we went to embalming fluid. And we are saying, how the hell the embalming fluid come? Well, mm, embalming fluid? Funeral home, a funeral home alone use embalming fluid legally like nobody else has any reasons for it You know what I'm saying? It's to make the body look normal or good Close to normal until the funeral procession takes place, right? Where we can have an open casket and view the people and before they're buried. So It come down to now somebody snitching and saying these gangsters are getting the and bombing fluid from the funeral home so we are said damn so they are supplying the flood the fuel the, the embalming fluid to these people right and then basically it's in exchange for dead bodies because anybody go ponder something there eventually they are gonna end up dead and the things they do while on that stuff can lead to or is going to lead to as we've been hearing hearing allegedly it's been leading to others being murdered Funeral home business, funeral home business, more funeral home business. Win, win, win for the funeral home all the way around. So it's no surprise that now this voice note leak where someone is saying them are escape in a casket when police are look for them. So you have the funeral homes acting as if they're bringing out a body when inside of it is a live man, somebody that's probably on the wanted list and his way of evading all the traps that the police, them soldier them set up in the um, zone of special operations is to go through in our casket. Police now check, right? A dead body in there. Soldier now check. You now open up a casket, go check it. Dead body in there. Two things I know about Jamaica. One, the streets know how I go on. Okay? One, the streets know, the streets always know what I go on. Believe me. You just have to talk to the right people, them. And two, in this social media day and age, nothing can kept, be kept secret no more. Especially how few Jamaican people them clamoring to go viral, whether it's through voice note or pictures. You know, see, as a man gets shot in his head, when first thing people do, pull out them cell phone. They don't even run from gunshot no more. Them run 50 meters that way there, and sprint, come back, come look for the body, and pull out them cell phone. Nobody calls for help. Nobody says, Lord God Almighty, we, um, we need some medical assistance. You, you know if we do CPR, you know if we do this, all right. No, don't touch him. Them pronoun, him dead, man, him dead. Me trust me, him dead. Pull out their cell phone and whoop, right to social media. People in England know what's going on in Jamaica if it happened five minutes ago, right now, right? So I'm not surprised to hear that allegation. Now, of course, the Jamaican officials are saying that law enforcement is looking into this and they have no proof of such things happening. So it could be just very well talk, but they don't put nothing past nobody. You know what I'm saying? That is common damn sense. That's what I was talking about before, earlier, when I said that, and I'm not bragging about U.S. military, especially infantry soldiers and their training. May I say, if we lock off on car down down an area, everything gets searched. Under your mattress, every house on the block get licked. 
That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, no way one man or anybody person's people is going to come into any area, shoot up the place, and we come in, lock off the area, right? And you get away. It's not happening. It's not happening. We are search every single house in that area there. We go house to house. Top of the bottom, top of the house to the bottom of the house. One corner to the next corner. In the ceiling we gone. Under the cellar we gone. In the banana walk with around the house we gone. In the dung in the board tile it out a door we gone. Them something there. Casket a pass, casket a get open. Funeral home I get searched. We are going at the back of that. We are opening every casket looking there. Like, when I say leave no stones unturned, these people don't understand what I'm talking about. And me and a virgin from Jamaica was having a discussion. He's saying, so flow, you don't understand, man. No, brother, you don't understand. And Uno will never understand. You see, us on the outside looking in, we're valuable as well. Trust me. This is the reason why it's important for Jamaicans that go away overseas, go get some proper training, whether it be educational as far as school room, book degree, medical, all this other stuff, all the way down to law enforcement tactics, military tactics, all these other stuff, especially when you've been trained to a higher level military-wise, you need to be going back home and sharing certain things. You know what I'm saying? We're valuable. So when the conditions are not inducive for us to come back home because enough people feel like now nah, i'm gonna lose my life i rather stay with me there i live out my life and days then jamaica loses jamaica loses because you're missing valuable things that your citizens have gone out into the world and gathered and them can't bring it back home come share it with you anyway that's my morning thoughts for this morning what y'all think about that do y'all think that it's true and do y'all think that the voice note is real. She even said, police block them off already. Our soldier block them off. Juke a body and the body jump in a casket and there. I saw them catch one of them. But of course, they're denying it and saying nothing no go so. And also, do you still think that corruption is involved on the part of our law enforcement where citizens might have witnessed something like this go down, but the right people receive money in the right hands. So everybody said, mm, nothing no go so, man. Not no gossip. <laughs> it's all flow TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Just remember this. I might suggest a lot of things, right? But when it comes to the specifics of certain situations, I'm not accusing anybody. I'm putting food on the table, food for thought on the table so we can have a broader discussion. Sometimes this is the wrong channel for some people. When the reasoning fly gone over your head, take your disrespect and exit stage left all right only intelligent people welcome here i'm out peace and we don't have to agree right but we can disagree respectfully big up for the self man i'm out of here i'm gonna get my what daily bread hashtag progress hashtag more progress for say bless up i'm out peace